episode. This space has been given the equipment to defend itself. If not, it's going to be 10 soldiers with no weapons and no armor. <laughs> okay, they do have, they do have, wait, what the fuck, where's the armor? Oh god. It has, maybe I haven't transferred armor to the space, only weapons. <sighs> it's not impossible to win the fight without armor, because they have... 20 smoke grenades, but it's not gonna make it easy. I'm just gonna give everyone smoke grenades in their hand and I'll go around and prime them all because we're gonna need smoke cover for every single fight, otherwise, we're gonna just lose people left and right. Ah, shit, dude. Might as well like prime the grenades in their belts too. So that every time someone dies they get more smoke cover. I'm hoping it's like floaters or something. That wouldn't be too bad. If it's sectoids, then um they're gonna like mind control my dudes and my dudes are gonna shoot each other. And since they have no armor, it's going to be lethal. I do have a tank. I mean, that helps. So the base isn't very big because it's like a secondary base. So all the aliens spawn in the hangar. What the fuck is that? That's like a radar system. Okay, I got... I must have got an... Impatient when I put that there, because that doesn't make sense. Anyway, they'll all spawn in the hangar and the access lift. So I'm right. Hello. It's Snake Man. So they might have chrysalids. And they might. I mean, they probably do. You can't shoot anything. You should just run away. Really. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'd be surprised if this goes well. Get the tank there so we can see around the corner. Maybe move a bit further back. Uh, did anyone spawn upstairs? Yes. One, two. So these guys just like hide in the corner and I'll just pop around every turn to see if there's anything to shoot at. I probably need five or six guys doing that and the rest can like be the reserve in case the front line gets destroyed, which they probably will. One grenade will kill the entire lot of them because they have no armor. And if they've brought blasters then Two blaster shots will take out everyone in the base. It's a lot of doors. That's a lot of aliens. Holy shit, it's not stopping. Wow. That's intense. They have chrysalids. Good god. Alright, um, tank goes there. Sprint across. And kneel. I think we'll just wait until things turn the corner before we kill them. I think that's a lot safer. And like the tank can just sort of vaguely provide vision. I don't know. 
If I can't kill the chrysalid when it walks up. Oh. I forgot this does like a shit ton of damage if it actually hurts. If I can't kill the next chrysalids when they walk up, then game's gonna be real interesting. You can hide there. Well, there's the first chrysalid, the second chrysalid. Oh, please don't. Alright. <laughs> the tank didn't take any damage, that's perfect. Uh, I don't think chrysalids... I think they have purely melee attacks, so... Check the other one first. Holy shit, it survived like three hits. Maybe they have a lot of armor. Okay. And we're parting for him. Double smoke grenade. Um, someone who isn't in line of sight. Damn it! Someone who isn't in line of sight should take the shot. Come on, buddy, he's right next to you. All right. Um, probably move around this corner. It's safer. I mean, we've taken out three kill slids, so like, short of being grenaded, I think we'll be pretty okay. That guy has a pistol. Either that or he's un he was unconscious before. 500 thousand dollars <laughs> and a day's worth of work for 70 engineers gone in a single shot. God damn it. <laughs> Who has time units? Adrian. It's your lucky day, you get to shoot an alien. Mm, you're not lucky enough to shoot two. So this guy's a pistol. I don't know what the other guy has. It kind of looks like a rifle. Come on, buddy. He's right in front of you. You are the elite soldiers of the world, how can you not shoot something right in front of you? Alright. Checking the corner might be lethal now, because I have no tank. So maybe this person will start being the checker. 58 reactions, I chose someone perfectly. 50 reactions is really high for a rookie. Need them to walk out and like approach from like a diagonal. If they approach from a straight, they might get um, shot. Uh, like that. If if that guy had walked one step further, he would have just gotten shot. But if you approach in a corner, you can shoot back beforehand. Because you spot them at the same time you have, like... Um... Your gun pointed in the right direction. So, this is going surprisingly well, even though we lost the tank. Still waiting on those grenades though. Uh, that looks two handed, but I can't tell what it is. Good line of fire. Perfect. 
what I might do then is smoke again and get these guys to run to the back. So I can have line of fire from back here. That's probably better than having them around the corner. And I'll just get the guys in front to kneel. With the smoke, this should be okay, probably. Um. Where the hell are they? They're just not coming out. Uh, plus they know where the space is, so they're just going to constantly come back. On one hand, free money. On the other hand, stress. <laughs> I don't know where they would be. What? Apparently they managed to shoot us without us seeing them, which is deeply concerning. Casually walk away, <laughs> slither away. Actually, I don't want you getting shot. Well, okay. Actually, told him to shoot the ground, but if he can land the shot and make up for a misclick, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. Very. What, 10 minutes ago inside. Engineer. But there's still more guys after that. And engineers have guns anyway, only medics have stun launchers. Plus, like, the information engineers give isn't even that useful. I'm pretty sure they just give you ship designs, like, who cares? You shoot them all out of the sky regardless of what they are. <laughs> Potentially maybe the engineer also gives you information about power sources and navigation. But like, I've already researched those. There's the grenade. <laughs> and there are the smoke grenades. Oh boy. And they're panicking because everyone around them just died. Fair enough. So it's just these two. Oh wait, there's a, th oh, there's a third guy who blended into the scenery. And they're really brave. 60 bravery, that's the max. Perfect. So we're just gonna smoke up again. You're really bad at throwing, holy shit. 21 strength. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. There we go. Uh, yeah, just, just run away. That's fine. It sounds like there's at least four guys left. Holy shit, dude. Why did you do that? Probably better to try and save them. At least from the guy in front. And then I can just like run away back to safety. 
Morale improved because I killed an alien too, which is good. Hey, you didn't die. Congratulations. Now pick up a gun. Is that your gun? No. Try over at your buddies. Your buddies have spare guns. Look at that beautiful buddy of yours. I probably should have used proximity grenades. In hindsight. That's probably the safest thing I could have done. But, oh well. They're all dead now. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I do. And honestly, it's not even good to use proximity grenades anymore. There's too many corpses. I need the money. I need the money more than I need the soldiers alive. I don't think I can close a door. I think I can only open a door. Like, I want to put the guy here, but I don't want them to walk up and shoot him before the door closes. I guess you guys will be friends. Smoke. Looking's bad for you though. Like actually these guys are well not, not these two, but this guy's gonna pass out soon if he stays in the smoke. <laughs> just finish this more quickly but I have three guys with no armor and no experience so I'm just gonna keep doing the safest possible option short of using proximity grenades or you know hiding in a corner but even hiding in a corner is probably not that safe because eventually they'll come and find you and shoot you what dude why are you panicking now The mouse is like not changing. Oh, it's because they have 10 bravery. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe morale doesn't change over time. I thought it restored slowly, but maybe you have to kill aliens for it to do that. Yeah, she's nearly passed out from smoke. The smoking's bad for you. So, a few turns, you'll just pop into there, I guess. Please come out, I don't want to hunt you down. Oh, the smoke's dissipating, so it doesn't really matter. Into the cupboard. I might get this guy to just stand there. If they're around the corner, I want to know. And I'm kind of getting tired of walking around the corner each time. <laughs> because there's probably only one or two left. Based on how quickly that turn's going. Uh, if there's two, hunting them down is a bad idea. If there's one... I can probably guarantee that it works. Just by sending my guys simultaneously. I'm getting really impatient, dude. Like, these guys fly all the way from who knows where in outer space to try to take over my base. And then they just decide, no, nope, I'm just gonna camp out here. I don't need to take this base over. I'm happy to cohabitate. Alright, I'll start hunting them down. Just slightly spaced out <laughs> so I don't die. Really? Okay, that's that's actually kind of scary. I have no idea where they are then. Um, shit, dude. I guess you should face there in case they come through.
Like what? What is happening? Where are they? If they turn the corner and kill one of my guys. <sighs> Why? Your morale's at 62. Surely that's enough to not panic. Oh my god, alright. Go pick up your gun. Um... Where's the most time units? Probably you. 56. Not what I had in mind. That's fine. Uh, so... I'll get her to toss a smoke grenade. Try again. Good job, you can throw five meters. <sighs> Alright. So, based on the door movement, it has to be here, 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 or like over in this complex. I don't- none of these guys have enough time units to actually find them and also shoot them though. So that's pretty inconvenient. Sprint, open the door. Open the door. Check inside, no one's there. Uh, so you can also now sprint into there. Open the door. No one's there, so they must be over here. On the plus side, that means I can get everyone into this room where it's super safe. And by everyone, I mean everyone except Mako, because no one likes Mako. Smoke should be dense enough to cover me for now. Um. Who has the best smokes? It's your lucky day, you get the throw a smoke grenade. Now I'm just getting paranoid. Which side of the door are they on? Clearly not this side. I think this is roughly the right distance. Any closer and they'll see me. Alright. What? What the fuck? Are they stuck? I don't think it's possible for them to have gotten past me. They must just be stuck in here somewhere for some odd reason. Oh, all my soldiers are female. Damn it, the patriarchy. Yeah, they're there. Sounds like it's just one though. Hello. I swear to god, if you missed the shot at point blank. Oh my god, you missed one of the shots, but it's fine, I forgive you. As long as that's the last one. Well, shit. Uh, uh, hello? Nope. Well, this is scary now. Not where I intended for you to move. Oh shit, he's upstairs. Um. Uh, go to the side and hope he doesn't notice you, I guess, is the course of action. I think he noticed you. Uh, I mean, if
if he's upstairs, we can just stay down here and wait for him to come down. It's unlikely he can kill both of us. Unlikely. Not impossible, but unlikely. Oh god. He had a line of he had line of sight without us having line of sight back. So he was like up here, I guess. Up here. Um That means I should be able to move here safely. I'm just gonna back the fuck away. Open I got shot in the back. Okay, good start. And now it's time to use all the proximity grenades of the entire team. Right there. I want to pick up this grenade, but it's kind of risky. Uh, sure. Dude, this is gonna take fucking forever. I don't know if that guy's ever gonna come down. Uh, hide in this room. Actually, don't even hide in that room. Hide even further away. <laughs> hide as far away as you can get. And now we just wait for the proximity grenade to go off because I don't want to lose the space. It costs like five million dollars to build. Oh man. Is it possible for him to get through without proxing the grenades? No, I don't think so, but I also haven't used proximity grenades in like two years, so. What do I know? Probably shouldn't be in your hand, buddy. Alright, proximity grades for not you, because that costs too much weight. Uh, I was so greedy. Not using the proximity grenades. Although the line of sight thing was unlucky. There you go, hide in the corner. Wait for the bad guys to go away. And hopefully this doesn't take a thousand turns. I hope that guy's not stuck. Like his his piling just doesn't know how to move. Um, downstairs. Because I am pretty sure I will lose a fight if I try and find him. And I don't really want to save scum, and I also don't really want to lose my base. So here we are. Uh, plus, I don't know if I can destroy the proximity mine with laser fire. It might need explosives to be destroyed, and I have no explosives. Um, actually, I researched alien grenade. If one of these corpses has an alien grenade, there we go. I can actually use that. To destroy the proximity grenade if I need to. Hmm, if there's a second one. Hello? Look at these beautiful boys. <sighs> Alright. I'm not waiting. I'm pretty sure his piling is bugged and he doesn't know how to move out of that room. 200 turns is a very long time decide not to move intentionally. <sighs> oh god. Alright. 
Let's see if I can destroy my mine with laser fire. I take a while. Once again, the base costs five million. I don't really want to lose it. I still have. I'm guessing that doesn't work. I still have the other proximity grenade as a like a warning. Right? Do I have to prime it in my hand? Okay. Um Yep, yeah, that looks destroyed to me. Oh boy. What I could do is um go martyrdom. Go in with a live grenade in my hand and try to get as close to him as possible. If all the aliens die and all the exom operatives die, maybe you actually get the base intact. Because technically, the aliens can't use the self destruct code if they're not alive to do it. <sighs> Is there any way to throw into that room safely? Maybe. If I throw from like down here and I throw sort of. Yeah, maybe that's that's pretty safe. I just need to destroy that proximity grenade. Oh, I primed it to zero, didn't I? Uh, oh, that wasn't very smart. All right. There. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if he came down, I would be pretty pissed. All right. Um. Prime it to zero, not zero, one. I think one's smart. I think zero is done. Let's work on the assumption he doesn't know how to leave the room. That seems to be the case. It means I can take my time getting into position. Can you throw now? No. God damn it, dude. Uh, I'm gonna leave the room and think of a new plan, because <laughs> if I spend any more time units, then I'm probably gonna die. Okay. So you can't throw from the middle of the room. Um, if I approach from the other door. Okay, so there's a chance for right now he can see me and I can't see him. You throw, please. Just. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's not looking at me though. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. It's time to buy some new soldiers. <laughs> and the person that survived, of course, got promoted immediately. More importantly, I need to transfer that armor before I forget. That's not ready yet. That's probably why I didn't transfer it. What about now? No, still not ready. Holy shit, those things take a long time to build. 
What about now? Oh, yeah, okay, we're not building anymore. We must have lost lots of suits. So, I will just send through personal armor instead. Instead of like 6 4 power suits, personal armor, I'll just give them 5 5. Not a big deal. But, where are my mini kits? I have many kits. I think I probably destroyed some of my guns with the explosions. Let me just check. Down 9000. Uh. Wait, what? They have armor. Uh, what? They have armor. I thought auto equipped armor when your base got invaded. It's like, otherwise, I can't equip the armor. <laughs> it's a long list now. Uh... God, that's annoying. Do I have to transfer a Sky Ranger here to equip armor? That's bullshit. <sighs> Wait, let me just quickly check if that's true. Because that's so bullshit. This is for the wrong game. Yeah, that's the wrong game. Okay, um... <laughs> also the wrong game. Uh, this should be the right game. Okay. Nothing about armor. Hmm. I don't know. Well, so I've transferred armor and apparently I need to transfer a ship in order to use it, which makes no fucking sense, but... Apparently that's the deal. Eventually when I build two ships, I guess I can transfer my old one. I can just give it like space herpes going between my bases. Here we go. Any craft consists of three main components, a power source, a navigation system, and a whole build of alien alloys. A hull especially designed to allow gravity waves to be direct directed and controlled. In addition to a small quantity of valerium in addition, a small quantity of valerium is required to fuel the power source. Once the principles of construction are understood and the functions of each component are known, then it is possible to build these types of craft. Uh, so the new fighter craft is the firestorm. The firestorm's not bad. Might get some more people on that. I really want the endgame craft though, the Avenger. Because that gives you... Uh, it's like, it's the best fighter in the game, but it's also the best transport in the game. So it's like the ultimate, it's literally the ultimate craft. It's the best at everything, for every reason. Oh, good job, Tainted Mines. We need more money. Let's sell this random shit.
and buy a bunch more <laughs> grenades. <laughs> Living quarters. I mean, they had the option to sort these alphabetically, but then they chose to do whatever this is. I don't even know. Well, this isn't going anywhere fast. No, oh, slowing down. It's over water. Why is it traveling over water slowly? Dude, that doesn't make any sense. If you travel slow, it'd be over land, so you can like look at stuff down there. There's nothing to look at over water. Alright, now we have our actual people with actual armor and actual stats. go on an adventure. Ben Eastwood, Donald Trump, Helena, Shimasu, let's go. There's nothing there. And that's a really awkward place for a building. Um Smoke the UFO. Run to the UFO. Smoke next to the building. Run to the UFO. Also smoke next to the building. Also run to the UFO. Uh, do we need a fourth smoke? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. One over here. And everyone else can focus on the building. And the other random crap outside. Viola got sergeant. She doesn't deserve it. She really doesn't. Alfredo does not deserve it either. There should be squaddies. Like Hanavine Dyke? Is, is that Dyke? Silent J? That's a lot of dudes. Be a of this size. Do any of you have a stun rod? I thought Donald Trump had one. It's Clint Eastwood. Okay, the loadouts must have changed. Because these guys have been injured a few times. Uh, that was a very unpleasant surprise. And we can't even fucking see him, what the fuck? Okay, tank. You are now... The way we see the aliens. Oh god. Snakeman. Snakeman in a ship of this size doesn't really make sense. The aliens are bad at logistics. Wow. The power source has been destroyed, but there's still so many guys. Um, I might just let them wander around a little bit. Maybe get closer to the door. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, let's, let's just try one more time. If I still only see two guys there, then that implies... Then that implies that there's only two in the ship. Please tell me that was a stun launcher. Okay, it was a stun launcher. Perfect. 
We can be super aggressive then. And just walk up and stun him. If we have a stun road. We might not have a stun road. Let me stun rods are here. Did I maybe I just didn't equip all of the rods? Oh, they're just all in the entry party, okay. Hello. That's a rifle. So stunning him's a risk. But I'm willing to take it. Mm, I'm not willing to take it anymore. Not after he's injured. Two fatal wounds. Of course Donald Trump doesn't carry a medkit. Why would he carry a medkit? That would be silly. Oh shit. Might be guys in the building. <laughs> well. This could go very badly, very quickly. I don't think I have time to take too many out of the three guys. God damn it. I don't think I have time to take too many risks. Trying to stun my tank. Okay, not anymore. Hello. Good night. Oh, he's awake. Not anymore. Hello. Oh shit, there's more. Uh, run? You can't make it out. Okay, well, we'll just kill the other guy then. And hope he's not important. <laughs> and hope there's also no one left in the craft. Perfect. Um, dude, you did not deserve that promotion. <laughs> Just making everyone sergeants because I have too many troops because there's, like, dudes in the spare bases. These guys have no equipment. Let's fix that. Sleepy people. Rifles, five medkits. Anything else? Ten rifles, five medkits, armor. No, I think that's it. Oh, they need um grenades. Not high explosives, smoke grenades. Well, the high explosives aren't bad either. Sometimes I use them. They're just really bulky grenades that are really hard to throw. But they like make massive powerful explosions as the name implies. That was quick. Oh, different base. Fair enough. Uh Game Zero Six. Wait. I'm pretty sure I only have nine people on board, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, someone should get the stun rod. Anna, it's your lucky day. There's the UFO. And today it's sectoids. That's a medic. Why is a medic floating around? You can. Because, like, he has, um. A stun launcher. Oh, it could be a navigator. I think navigators sometimes carry stun launchers. But usually they're medics, I think. Not 100% sure. Like, it kind of makes sense. The medic carries the stun weapon. Uh, there? 
Yeah, that's good enough. Take the shot. No line of fire. Make the line of fire. took that very literally. I actually meant try and shoot the guy. But... I guess that wasn't very clear. Shoot the guy. And when I make the instructions clear, people still don't follow them. Right man. There we go. Yeah, that's that's really tight grouping. Seventy accuracy. Pretty high. Hmm. That's the corner, so it's pretty safe. Yes, we are setting ourselves up for another grenade. But these guys have armor, so they probably won't kill them. Or just like injure them and piss them off, probably. Hopefully. Look, this guy does not deserve to be a sergeant. Look at his stats. They're not even good. He's really brave, but. That's kind of all he has. nine people. Alright. Continue your tank, we'll just stay there and do nothing. Hopefully they shoot the tank. Two doors opening simultaneously. Always what I want to hear. And I don't see any of the doors open. It is not a good thing. Oh well. Get in position. We're doing a raid. And we don't have a warrant. And we don't want one. Alright, that's a lot of movement. Anna has no... I mean, it's... She should not be in this. Shit. You should not be in this breaching squad. Oh, good shot. No, Heracus, he's not even that amazing. Just got lucky. Okay, Alfredo should not be here either. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. That was sudden. That is a heavy plasma, we can't not afford to stun that, we have to shoot it. We can't afford to miss. Nothing's happening. Okay, I guess we'll go back to trying to stun aliens. Still nothing. Alright. Go forth. Uh, don't go in there. He's fine, so it's probably a pistol. Maybe a rifle at worst. Invisible alien. We still don't see him. He still doesn't take damage though, so that's good. Hello. He's a heavy plasma. Holy shit, he got so lucky then. Just the one. How's your accuracy? Pretty good. Hmm. 
Nice. And now we'll bridge. Mm. No one's home. 